Hello everybody, welcome to Leeds Wine TV. I am your host, Mark Fusco, and uh, we've got yet another wine for you. Um, decided to do this one, it's called the Rene Barbier uh, Mediterranean White. Uh, Non-vintage, by the way. I always forget to mention non-vintage when there's no vintage, and I, I was looking hard on this one. Because um, sometimes, you know, they hide it on the back of the label. But anyway, um, so uh, it's from the Catalonia area of Spain. It's, uh, here we go. On sale when we bought it about two weeks ago for three ninety nine at World Market. Normally it's around six ninety nine or five ninety nine. I think it's six ninety nine over there. So um, it's like half price, or it was at least at the the time we bought it. Um, and this is something that we drink a lot. Is it going to be a, a, a ninety five point wine? No, but um, we drink it a lot, and it's just it's nice and refreshing and. It would help if I had a wine glass. <laughs> I mean, I could have used the spit bucket, I guess. <laughs> or just drank out of the bottle. But anyway, um, now I got a wine glass. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and check this out. Like I said, we tend to uh, drink this quite a bit. Um, we're going to have some type of Asian-style uh, pork dish tonight, so this might go really well with that. Now, when I first opened this up a little over two hours ago, yeah, it's been about two hours. The first thing I got, and I, I did a little, you know, little smell test on the bottle, was I got this impression of a of a fuzzy navel, which that's that's not something I would normally associate with wine, but um, but I'm not getting that. I'm not really getting that peach. Uh, as much of that peach sensation, that peach smell. But but a, it's like it's like a hint of it. Maybe pineapple. Maybe. Their write up, not on the back of the bottle, but their write up on the website says something about apples and pineapples. I don't smell apples, but I smell a little bit, maybe a hint of pineapple. But definitely a uh, uh, somewhat of a, of a peach, peach fuzz, peach, uh, peach. I'm sorry, a fuzzy navel type of thing. Maybe more like the, the the skin of a peach, something like that. All right, let's taste it. So, definitely getting acid. Um, it's 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 not real focused, but it's not like all over the place. It's, it's kind of like mid focused. So that that's good. I mean, it's a cheap wine. So I mean, I wouldn't expect it to be like like right down the middle focused. Um, I got a bit of like like the very tip of my tongue. I got like this this like sweet sensation, which I don't remember ever tasting in the past. Um, Definitely that, uh, I would say that tropical type of uh, flavor to it. I know it's Mediterranean, but. Uh, I would say clean, uh, refreshing. It doesn't hurt that little subliminal, subliminal um, suggestion there of uh, sitting next to the beach 
and all that kind of stuff. Um, it's, it's definitely light. Uh, it's easy drinking. You chill it. It's going to be really good. Um, remember, this is around whatever the temperature in the house is. Um, and it, it's got it's got some nice acid to it, and it's got nice little like like bright fruit, like you know, like you know, like the peaches, pineapple, like that type of nice lighter fruit, not not the heavier dark fruit. Uh, I'm not maybe maybe a little bit of lemon, you know, a little citrus action. Yeah, you know, that's where that that fuzzy navel thing is coming through, you know. And, you know, with you get that peach and that, that citrus type of flavor with the orange. Uh, if you don't know what a fuzzy navel is, um, I definitely recommend, it, especially if you can get it for three ninety nine at World Market. Definitely. So let's talk about the uh, winery for a little bit. Oh, score um, eighty four. You know, it's serviceable. It's good for what it is. It's not. It's not a spectacular wine, but um, it, it's it's not it's not you know swill, which is definitely not swill. And like I said, you chill you chill it for a little bit. And we do try to chill these, um, especially this one because I just I, it mute it a little more. Um, but I don't always chill it. But anyway, um, yeah, eighty four. All right, so Rene Barbier. Um, I, I'm assuming this is the son of. The founder, or the or or the guy that came to Spain, Leon Barbier, uh, came from Avignon in France. Uh, came to Spain, decided to create a vineyard, and I'm assuming that Rene took it over and named it after himself. Uh, there are three varietals in here: 40% Char Char Charello, 30% uh, Macabeo, and 30% uh, Pariada. Now. Uh, I've mentioned these uh, varietals before um, from uh, the Vino Verde episode. I believe it was a Vino Verde episode. Uh, we also had a 100% um, Pariata uh, a couple months, uh, about a month ago. Because we're, we're already a month into this, by the way, folks. Um, and they started this thing about 100 years ago. Uh, and this, cause this particular company, does they sell 18 different wines internationally. They had like 20 for Spain. So I, I didn't look to see which... The two extras that were Spanish only, but um, you know what? It, it's pretty good. We've also they also have a red, and we've had that once, and I believe it was pretty good. But uh, Catalonia, Spain area, definitely recommend it. Uh, times up. Click the links to friend me up. Send me comments. Email me. We'll see everybody again next time. Happy Fourth of July.